Hi class, I wanted to take a minute to talk about the originality report on Turnitin. Um, you are submitting essay two and three, both your draft and your final version, so that you're actually submitting four essays uh, to Turnitin. This is a document checker. It will compare the text of your essay with text of other students, student essays that have been submitted to Turnitin and other sources available on the internet. Um, it is a plagiarism checker, but it also really is a useful tool for learning whether or not you are doing a good job at citing your sources and paraphrasing or quoting from your sources. So this is to help you avoid plagiarism more than it is for me to check that you're not plagiarizing. You want to look at the overall percentage you get which I'm not showing you because I don't want to show you the name of this student, uh, but above this, when you click on your paper, you will see up in this corner the percent that it's similar. So that means that percentage of the text in your paper matches text somewhere on the internet. Now, you'll see highlighted text, and on the sidebar you see the match overview, and that shows you from where this text can be found. Sometimes it is found in many different sources. Um, when you have things like this, number six here, you can see this is showing you this was submitted to a paper. If you click on it, um, if it's submitted to a student paper, it's not going to show you what the student paper was, but you can click on the source, and if it was something else other than the student paper, other things would pop up. Um, when you just have a couple words and phrases, this isn't such a concern to me, but when you have something like down here, all right, this is quite a large chunk, all highlighted in the same color, which means it all shows up as having come from the same source. So if I look at number two, um, this is submitted to a school, again, a student paper. However, if you click on it over here, you'll see that there's actually many times this sentence, these couple of sentences were submitted in various places. And I happen to know from reading this student's essay that this second source here is where this information came from. When I click on that source, I see the text. Here it is. It's highlighted here in the example. This is the source that it originated from, and here it is in the student's essay where it is almost word for word two sentences of this text. This would be fine to include in your essay if you were enclosing this in quotation marks and citing the source, but neither of those happens in this case. There's no citation that indicates that these two sentences came from this source, and there is no enclosure in quotation marks. So when you're looking at your essays and you're going over your originality report on Turnitin, you want to look for these highlighted sections and you want to see what needs to be fixed as far as reviewing your essay. So this is the only big problem in this student's essay as far as citations, um, plagiarism goes but this is something that will need to be corrected. You just want to make sure that you're looking at, if you say, well, there's no way I wrote something that some other student wrote, and that may be true, um, but they may have gotten it from the same source you got it from, and neither one of you paraphrased it or put it in quotation marks. Sometimes things are highlighted here where the quotation marks just are not done appropriately. You want to make sure the quotation mark is right next to the word. There's no space between the quotation mark and the quote on either side of it. Um, and you still want to make sure that you've done your parenthetical citation or included your citation in the text of the sentence. Uh, you can look at the various resources I've given you on how to do that uh, to help you with this. But hopefully this will help you to look at your match overview and turn it in and use it to help make your citations and your paraphrases better and avoid any unintentional plagiarism on your part.
Okay, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.